Hello YouTube, Jonathan800 here. So today I have played uh, Sheep's Mod, but I believe it's been renamed. Uh, it has had a lot of updates since the last time I played it, to where it's from uh, just making the UK and Japan a little harder to invade to just AI improvements, like a whole lot of it. So basically I decided to do the Soviet Union and this has been the hardest challenge I have ever played in Hoi 4. Not a joke, basically. So basically, this mod makes it to where the AI will try to do multiplayer meta stuff somewhat. Like, the AI will make pretty good tanks, very good airplanes, they will do multiplayer strategies, like they will take licenses from Australia to get Fighters 2s. Tanatuva is actually MVP. Because uh, it will do guns to 1937, and I believe anti-tank to also relatively many years in advance, but in this game I did not, so, uh, the mod is nice, it will do Barbarossa historically Ju June 22nd, 1941, and this required a whole lot of micro, because the planes I'm using are the variants of the Australian fi fighter I had, also Taiba Air. The AI will use meta air design, so your 3 HMG, fuel tank, self-sealing, and armor plate. And the most difficult spots in my defensive line were in the north, where I got it breached. Uh, I don't know if it was due to reinforce me or not. And the south where all I had was some level 5 forts. Forts also take longer to construct in this mod, so that's fun. The marshes were relatively easy to hold, though a tile was always at risk of falling. The tile south of uh, Kiev was also consistently about to fall, it felt like. And basically, this was my game till like 42 or so. I was just really busy f on this. I, I believe 1941 took over 30 minutes for me to play on 3 speed, pausing, checking everything. As you see, I lose that tile, but I do manage to take it back. Ugh. This was not fun. It was quite painful. The division template I used at this point was, uh, I think a 10-1. But I think I eventually make it 11 1. Uh, actually, 11. 11 1 1. There we go. Because it could be 10. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But the main part that actually helped me deal. not lose my brain cells was operational reserves. This gives me. Uh, what was it? 10% more HP and stacked with fuel hustles. Oh, there's my uh, template. Okay, that was more than 10, but <laughs> I would later add an artillery to that piece, but yeah, <laughs> my infantry was kind of cracked at holding, but currently my tanks were kind of suffering because the tank design that I showed was actually not the one I used in immediately because I'm used to not putting uh, secondary cannons on my tanks for historical reasons. It was... They did work well at first, you did not see a first offensive. But I guess I used up all of the old tanks in that one. So, this actually turned out to be a huge relief because the other games before, the first game, I just got completely rolled. I overestimated my abilities and I got rolled at the Molotov line. The second time, the Stalin line collapsed. The third time, I could hold, but my tanks were absolutely worthless. And then, I came this game, and it actually turned out well. Partially because I had this thing called air superiority. Because without the Australian fighters, I I'm doomed. They're I need air to play this game. I do not know how people play this game without air superiority. And there's a good old juicy encirclement. Now this is basically the offensive I tried to do originally. 
I do not know why it still liked to suffer. Especially in like the south. Well, the first time I did it, even complete lessons of war, so that's probably reason. But I do manage to get the river line back while encircling a bunch of troops. I decide to uh, clean up around the Minsk area because I gotta liberate somewhere and there's no river in that general area. Just attack from the marsh and attack from uh, Vitesse. I can't pronounce things. No, <laughs> I w woke up somewhat recently. Now, this offensive actually went quite well. Because once you break the enemy's entrenchment, you uh, kind of just roll them over. So I did set the Germans to go mobile warfare, so it's a somewhat easier game because mobile warfare kind of sucks at the defensive. If I wanted Grand Battle Plan, that might have actually tore my hair out because of the extra entrenchment and the planning bonus they get. They can kind of deal with planning bonus with spies. Now, this is basically encirclement simulator, but many times I you, there will be a massive delay between offensive. One time it was because of fuel, the other times it was because I have wasted so much equipment in the previous one where I just had to wait. So the tanks are very very good. Uh, so because this is um, AI that is acting as multiplayer, the tanks are pretty good and you have to defeat the tanks not necessarily the infantry so soft attack is not what you want to go for you actually want to go for hard attack especially when the Germans put out a uh, really good medium tank division on every tile very annoying so basically an okay words are hard right now I'm just doing the soft to cuff so another thing to mention is that I actually do not get uh, Order 227 or any of the offensives that it gives because I managed to successfully hold uh, Kiev and not lose much land so I do not get the necessary surrender progress to actually, what is it, <laughs> to get it. Also this is the biggest circle of my entire Hoi 4 uh, career. Like, I think that was 127 divisions. There's Stalingrad, for example, just 220,000 compared to my 1.32 million. That was a fun thing to post on the Discord. Which is where I got the mod. Uh, basically, the history of this mod was uh, Tsar Sheep of Bulgaria, as sometimes their username is. Just said, hey, I see you on the Discord server. Why don't you chest out my mod? And it was a fun little mod, just haha, the uh, UK was harder to evade. And now this has kind of driven me to insanity. Also, there are some event spawns. Uh, basically, the Reich will go into NC mode and do put up wheelchair divisions. So, more for the casualties numbers. But otherwise, there is no buffs to production or anything. This actually is relatively better than Expert AI in performance wise. Because Expert AI, I believe, just only does stat boost. Like, oh, uh, you more production output, more political power, just stuff like that. It just makes the brain dead AI just have more buffs. This actually improves the AI to the point where instead of being a brain dead uh, thing is actually the, has the intelligence of maybe a small child. And also uh, there goes the entire northern front. Oops. <laughs> just a little side thing. Just They're all gone. So I decided to attack the Balkans even though the allies are nearing Berlin. Because you gotta inflate the casualty numbers even more and also secure your influence in Eastern Europe. So there's actually some scripted peace deals in this game. It's at mostly just uh, one and that is uh, the war in East Asia, the Pacific. Because you know how good well that turns out in most Hawaii 4 peace deals where China owns a little bit of Japan, same with the Americans, same with the British, all that stuff. 
yeah, that's actually dealt with. And also, because Japan almost always takes out China, that's also pretty helpful in the when it comes to peace deals. Also, when it comes to uh, surrendering the Germans, three collab governments always takes the cake and how to deal with them quickly. Also, you are forced to attack Japan as the Soviets. You are given 30 45 days to send all your troops back east. I actually had to hold the event so I can get my troops back. So basically, I just blitzed down Japan. Like, it was 300,000 casualties to 3 million or 400. I don't know. I forget to show, forgot to show it, but it was some insane casualty KDR for this. And also, no Soviet Navy, so that re means it's time for the VDF to uh, take an airfield. They will totally successfully do that. Oh, I realized I forgot to hit glider planes on that. Oops. Well, it doesn't matter because the doctrine is so busted, it will just let these 20 width blocks take out Nagasaki. No nukes required. So, yeah, that is basic oh I still have a minute of time left huh well this is the script of PCL type out whatever Russia controls it will go to communist China anything else would go to the nationalists and then there's actually a scripted uh, North and South Korean War and Korean War and Chinese Civil War and also to deal with lag the game will actually inform the EU and uh, Commonwealth of Nations so that's kind of fun. Lots of uh, boosts overall to the AI makes it a pretty challenging mod, which is fun. So, fun and also painful. So either way, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, you know the deal. And this is Jonathan800, signing out.